And welcome back, everybody. We are talking about when gambling becomes a problem and how to take care of it. And this is Bobby McGinley from the Cavalry Center here in uh, the Valley. How you doing, Bobby? Very well, thank you. Is uh, Arizona, uh, a, do we have a problem here any more than any other state does? I don't think it's more than anywhere else. I just think it's something that people are paying a little more attention to right now than they did before. Most of us probably like to pick up a lottery ticket every once in a while, maybe once a week. Does that mean that we have a problem? Or Absolutely at not. At what point does it become one? When you're spending more time gambling than other aspects of your life, like spending time with your children, if it's right. time away from your job, if someone close to you expresses a concern about how much you spend or how much time you spend gambling, it's starting to be a problem. Yeah, how about when you have more money than you, sh than you, you have to spend on it? Well... <laughs> That, that is where the problem yeah. lies, you know, where people are getting in over their heads trying to recoup what they've already spent, you know, and the families are being devastated by that. So if you're sitting at home, what's the best, well, we're looking at the different types of gamblers, casual, uh, social gamblers, action gamblers, and relief and escape gamblers. If you're sitting at home and you maybe have a loved one or a friend who you feel might have a problem, how would you recognize that? Well, you'd recognize it because there was money that was disappearing un unaccounted for, mm -hmm. or they weren't spending as much time at home or with their families as they usually do. Disappearing, um, items disappearing from the home is also a sign where things that have some cash value all of a sudden are gone, and the individual who's gambling is using that to continue to chase their losses. Is that always easy to recognize, or do some people try to hide it? It's a very hidden addiction, and that's one of the reasons why we're so, you know, excited about the fact that Calvary has done what they're doing to provide some relief for the problem gamblers as well as their families. Um, we don't have anything like this in the Valley that's strictly a, a program for the problem gambler. And you're talking about a 30-day program. That's you're the correct. first to have that, right? Yes. What basically do you do to, to get somebody away from gambling or a, a, a drug addiction? which you said are often correlated, or, or drinking, or whatever. Yeah, there, there's a lot of comorbidity between substance abuse and the problem gambling. And in order to keep people safe, there's a very high suicide rate among problem gamblers. And even their family members end up um, feeling pretty hopeless. And a way to keep the gambler out of their natural gambling environment is to seclude them in a residential program so they can look at themselves and triggers and cues and consequences and make a lifestyle change. And does that always help, the isolation? Staying it away does from in it? many cases, absolutely, to get them away from what they usually do, whatever their, their habits happen to be or schedule around their gambling is. And if you're sitting at home and you're thinking, maybe I'm gambling too much, mm -hmm. uh, what should you do? They need to call Calvary Center or they can call me at ACT Counseling. Mm -hmm. They can call um, the gambling hotline and ask them for resources for treatment. There are several outpatient programs in the Valley, but nothing on a residential level like uh, the Calvary Center has done now. Does 30 days do the trick most often, or is this one of those deals where it really helps to have help from your friends and family as well? They need that also in yeah. conjunction with the residential program, you know, and they involve, Calvary Center involves the family and uh, gets information to the employers and their peers so that everyone can support the gambler as well as their family. Well, you can get to calvarycenter.com off of our hotline, azfamily.com, or more information at 207-3646. Bobby, thank you for your time You're today. Very Hopefully welcome. it'll help thank some you. people out. Thank I you. I hope so.